This brief video is going to show you how to use the curation tool Trello to start capturing information for your report. Once you've decided on your topic, you've written your thesis statement and identified your questions, the next part of the process is to try and locate relevant resources that are going to be useful for you. One of the easiest ways to do this is to break down your questions under different categories or keyword headings. And then as you find resources related to that specific part of your, um, your report, you can actually document them. Now Trello is one way of doing this. And as you can see, this particular Trello board I have set up for the Southern Right Whale. And I have made started making some lists in terms of the different parts of my report that I'll be looking at. So I've got things like the whale populations, reproduction, protective laws, uh, just general facts about them, what are the current dangers to the southern right whale, and any useful images um, or graphics that I can find that may be quite useful for my report as well. Um, so as I have gone off and done a search, so this is just in Google, as so it's a good place to start, just scrolling through, looking, remember, at the URLs to see which ones might be useful sources of information. World Wildlife Fund um, is an organisation and this is, has the Australian context, so that will be useful. Remembering though it is very pro-whale, so you need to watch for bias. This is um, a government website, so it may, might be quite useful for getting um, statistics about numbers and so on. Parks and Wildlife Service, another government one. This is West Australian, so again that will give you a local context. Killer Whale Museum may have some useful images that you can use as well. All right, so once you have decided um, what might be a, a useful resource, you can go in and have a look at it. At this stage, you're not doing any deep research. You're just skimming and scanning through the resource to see whether you think it will be of use. Okay, remember all the things we talked about in, in terms of what makes a good website, the fact that it's an organisation is um, is quite a good thing. I would go into the About Us and see um, what the project is about. Obviously they're raising money um, to save the whales so they're going to paint um, a picture that shows that the numbers are dwindling and so on. So again just be mindful. Okay this gives a little bit of information. So just scroll through the website, have a look at some of the hyperlinks and see whether you think it may be actually useful. What are the goals? Okay, so in captivity, so that actually is one of the things um, in terms of whales being captured for marine parks and so on. Uh, deaths in nets, so that's giving you a bit of an idea about what causes some of the deaths. Healthy seas, okay, that's another one you might look at if there's anything particularly, again, with plastics and so on that's actually um, threatening the populations and whaling. So even by looking at this, this will actually give you some ideas of the kinds of things that you can look at. So I'm going to take a copy of that. I think it might be quite useful. Then I go into my Trello board um, and I'm going to put it down in under dangers because it actually lists what some of those dangers are. And then if you click on it again, you can actually go into attachment and paste the link in. You could also write some um, descriptions in there as well um, about what's on the, the website if that is going to help you. Okay, so now if I go into dangers, it will actually give me that information. So this is, as I said, just a very quick way to gather information at that first level. And then when it comes time to actually writing your report, you've got all of that information in one place. Um, that you can then start interrogating at a much deeper level.